Reinhardt University's Kabul School of Nursing and Health Sciences is preparing nurses for the 21st century using the latest high-fidelity simulation equipment. Beginning their first semester, Reinhardt nursing students experience what it is like to care for patients in a safe learning environment that challenges them to put what they have learned in the classroom into practice. It starts all the way back with us as instructors. We develop a lesson plan and we create the simulations. It's usually something related to something they are already learning in the classroom in the didactic form. Then they come in, we do pre-briefing, and that's reviewing the homework. When somebody comes in and they're experiencing chest pain, um, when should a patient have their labs drawn? Immediately. Right. After we do pre-briefing, we give them 15 minutes of planning time for them to take their role assignments that they've been given and kind of decide who's going to do what, if there's supplies they might need to take in there. That's their time to kind of develop an action plan. Anything as far as our gear, anything that you can think like drips, we need to get all of our equipment out. When they're finished, we just start the scenario. Hey, Mr. Smith, how you doing this afternoon? My name's Rick. Hey, doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. My name is Rick. I'm a student nurse. We treat it like they're coming into the patient's room at the hospital, and they knock on the door, they introduce themselves, they go in, they identify their patients, and we're looking to see that they're doing all those basic steps every time. I'm one of the student nurses taking care of you as well. Along with that, they're also supposed to do assessment. Do you have any kind of questions or concerns today that I can um, help you with before I start? Well, they were, they were telling me about I'm going to have some sort of heart surgery, but they didn't really go into what it was. Could okay, you tell well, me more about that? Uh, yes, I can. I want to just assess some of your vitals real quick, and then as soon as I get done that and make sure you're stable and everything, we can get into some explanations. Does that sound good? Okay, sounds good. But sometimes situations change, and if the patient experiences a change, then they have to respond to that. Lucy, can Thank you give you so me a much. face mask, please, for oxygen? I mean, it's really hard to, it's hard to take a deep breath. I'm sort of feeling dizzy and nauseous. I know you are. We're going to give you some medication right now that's going to help you with that, okay? Okay. Well, you know, he's got delayed cap refill. I'd probably say maybe three and a half seconds, four seconds for cap refill. His SBO2 is dropped and I'm waiting to get a face mask in so we can get him started on oxygen. Alright, I got his vital signs down. He's going to help you breathe, on. okay? Here you go, Mr. Smith. This is just standard precaution, Mr. Smith. We just want to make sure that you've got your oxygen. So that's what we're looking for is to see how well they make the decisions that we expect to see them be able to make based on where they are in the program. Mr. Smith, do you feel better? I feel no. alright. Feel all right? His SPO2 is down to 86. When they go into debriefing, you want to see where their mental state is. So, what was the experience like for you guys today? It was nerve wracking. Yeah, it was. So, it was always nerve wracking. Yeah. It was fun, nervous. intense when the patient started getting tachycardia and the heart rate increased. We go through a gamut of questions just to kind of assess. Well. How do you feel like you did with responding to this? And what would you do differently if you could? And what do you think you did well? And then we wrap it up and say, okay, what are you going to take into practice with you when you leave here? The baby's coming. The baby's coming. In the labor and delivery scenario, it's a specialty area. And most of the time, students in practice, when they go into the hospitals, they're not really allowed to participate. They're there more in the observation role. So being able to participate in the simulation allows them to be more hands-on and to practice the role of making the decisions the nurse would normally make in labor and delivery. Push hard. Push hard. Push, push, push. Good. You're doing great. That's awesome. You're doing great. 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 I got a shoulder. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Yay! I've got a baby. It's a girl, it's a girl. Damn, you know, it's a two-heart heart. Okay, heartbeat 120. Well, you get the holder, and I mean, she's hungry, so. 
At Reinhardt University, we are developing nursing professionals who will be the best in the world and the best for the world.